Hi everybody, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my entire setup that I use for my videos here on YouTube. I have tried basically anything and everything you could think of, trying to find like the perfect combination for my channel. And I found it probably about three, maybe four years ago. I feel like I haven't changed anything in quite some time because I really, really love my setup and I think it's just amazing. Plus, it's pretty minimal. I've watched some other ones here on YouTube and I was kind of like shocked at how many things that people use for filming and then they have like a whole film crew, a lighting crew and that's amazing but for me I do everything myself so I like to keep it as easy as possible with keeping the quality as high as possible. So if you guys want to see what I use from A to Z for filming here on YouTube then please keep watching. So before I get into today's video I'm obviously going to use a different camera that way I can show you how everything is like officially all set up. But I wanted to show you guys like my holy grail must have life changing lighting product product, I guess you would call it, that I use. Um, again, it's just one thing that I use for lighting. I used to use the light boxes, the ring lights, everything like that, but this to me is just so powerful and so amazing that it's the only thing that I use. So I'm going to quickly turn it off, that way you guys can see like how good it really is. And then I'm going to walk you through all my setup. So you can see how different the lighting is without the light. So that light is super, super powerful. It's bright. It's like a blue LED light, so it really, really is amazing for photography. And one of the reasons that I do love it so much is I feel like it's very true tone as far as color. I personally love daylight. But as you guys know, I sit in front of my window most of the time, so the daylight's behind me. So I need something powerful enough to be able to like still project a lot of light with the natural sunlight coming from behind me. I think this light that I use is very, very similar to natural daylight, so it's my favorite and it's just the most amazing thing that I ever bought and it's been like my secret holy grail product, but I figured why not share it with you guys for anyone looking, you know, to revamp their stuff a little bit. So now I'm just gonna walk you through everything else that I use, so stay tuned. All right, so this is where all the magic happens. Pretty simple setup, in my opinion. So let's start with my tripod. This one is Manfrotto 055. Everything I have basically is from Amazon, so I will link everything for you guys. This one's like a very nice, heavy duty, like super sturdy one. So I love this one. I've been using it for a while. It holds my camera really nice and sturdy. There are, of course, other ones much cheaper, which I will link that I've used and loved. I just find that they break a little bit quicker. So this is my favorite tripod. So now that I have a microphone, which I've never had before, uh, this one is, it's called Shure, S-H-U-R-E, microphone. So this attaches to the camera right up here. Um, so my light actually used to attach right there, but I just bought like a different head that can hold both of them up there. I just haven't uh, used it yet. So this microphone, since it is also plugged into the camera, you have to make sure it's turned on. I don't use the SD card for it, but if it's not turned on, your camera will not be recording sound, which I have made that mistake before. So make sure if you are using a uh, microphone that you are making sure that it's turned on, otherwise you're gonna be left with footage with absolutely no sound, which is ugh, literally the worst. I've done it before, so just a heads up. So looking at it from this way, you can see how bright my light is. So the camera that I use is the Canon 5D Mark III. This is my favorite ever. And the lens that I always use is the Canon EF 50 millimeter. Um, I'll link the exact one that I use. The lens is very pricey, but it's one of the best lenses I've ever used. And anytime I do like any work with people that are, you know, like doing commercials or anything like that, they always have the same camera. So. It's a great investment. There are, of course, other ones like the ADD, which I love as well, that's more affordable. And you can use the lens on a camera that's not as expensive, but I've had this one forever and it's just my favorite. The next thing I wanna talk about is the Cam Ranger. So I have also had this for years and years. So what this thing does, it's like a Wi-Fi system that takes the screen of the camera and it transfers it on to my iPad. So here you can see. So when I'm filming, I can see myself, which is super helpful because you can double tap, make sure that I'm in focus. So like watch. 
So that way, because I film by myself, don't mind the mess everywhere, by the way, on this side of the room, um, I'm able to make sure I'm in focus. I can adjust the exposure, um, also the aperture. So what's really cool about this lens um, is the aperture. So for those of you guys that don't know what that means, it means like everything in your background, if you want it super, super blurry, you can lower the aperture to all, to 1.2, which I never really use because then it's so hard if I move back, I'm out of focus, or if I move in um, like a little bit, it's out of focus, but it really, really blurs your background, which is cool. So that's one of the reasons that I really love um, the lenses. I usually keep mine at like a 3.5, 3.2. That way it just blurs the background enough, but it's I'm like looking up at the camera instead of looking at my other camera. But it's just my favorite lens, and I think it's beautiful lens so this is very very helpful for those that are filming by themselves cam ranger honestly changed my life so i know some people use like big tvs i have never done that which would probably be really cool but i have the um the ipad pro so it's a very big ipad and it works perfectly for me so that's what i use as far as that so the cam ranger comes with this usb that connects from there into the side of the camera you can see there's a little button right there that it connects to, so it's super easy. Obviously, when I'm finished filming, I always um, charge everything to make sure it's good. And then for my light, since it used to be on top of the camera, I never had to use like this extra tripod, 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 <laughs> tripod, but now I do. Um, so this is my holy grail light. Let me turn it off so you guys can see it. So this is all that I use for lighting. And I use these little batteries that you can recharge in them as well. So the brand is Young Now. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Um, it's the YN300. And when I turn it on, I have it all the way up usually. Sometimes if it's darker out, I'll lower it. It's still super powerful when it's on low, but usually when it's like daytime, I'll keep it all the way up so all these are up because it has to fight like the natural sunlight coming in behind me. So this is like my holy grail, best thing I've ever purchased. And then these are also from um, Amazon as well. They make the battery last a lot longer. I used to use the ones that were like half the size, but I definitely recommend investing in the bigger ones because they usually last about an hour and a half to two hours while filming and that's usually what I need. So that's the light that covers the light, the microphone, the camera, the cam ranger, and the lens, and then my iPad. And that's all that I use. So this is like my little setup right here. So it's a pretty simple setup. Of course the camera and lens are definitely the most pricey out of everything, but like I said, I've been using the same camera for so long. I did buy the Mark IV, but a lot of the plugs are different on the side to connect the Cam Ranger, and I just really never took the time to figure out um, like the newest way to set it up, so I'm just like a creature of habit, and when I find something I love, I stick with it. So in order to film my videos, I use Final Cut Pro on my MacBook Pro, and I really think that's it as far as like my everyday type filming videos. There are a bunch of other cameras that I use for other things that I can also do a video on if you guys want to see. But this is like my everyday YouTube setup. So I hope this video was helpful for anyone interested in either switching their routine up or even just starting out. I highly, highly recommend everything that I use clearly because I've been using it for so long and I haven't switched anything so that's how you know it's really good in my opinion and I'm such like a geek with all of this and like I said I do everything myself so I'm very hands-on and again I back all this up 100% so I hope this video was helpful I love you guys so much thank you for watching and until next time I'll see you guys later